the B&M Boneyard is all curved over. There's still a good amount of pieces of track in here, guys, like for sure. Crane's way over there this time. Looks like they're gonna start getting ready to move some more stuff over to the park. But it's always cool to come over and see how much of this they've actually taken away. Still a good amount here though. And my favorite pieces are still here. The ones right by the fence. Kind of cool that these are still here too. And as you can see, you know, like I showed you guys earlier, still a decent amount over here in the parking lot. Well, let's head over to the park and see what kind of progress has been made. Come join us for the adventures of Bright Coaster Club. Uh -huh. I mean, geez, right when you even walk up, you can see that surf coaster right over the top. That's kind of cool. It's going to make for an awesome new entrance, like, just feature in here at SeaWorld. Right here, you can see one of the launches. Oh, it just goes all the way down and over. And then into where it's going to turn around. We'll come back over. This looks really cool so far. And then right there where the track stops. Love that. Seriously, this looks really awesome though, guys. Totally looking forward to it. And like, I really love that piece I just showed you right from the entrance. It looks really cool. A little bit better of an angle where you can see where it totally cuts off to where they stop building it. That turnaround actually looks pretty awesome though. It's almost like an inversion in a way. So it's gonna be kind of a fun little element that's gonna be on this B&M stand-up surf coaster. I don't know, it's always satisfying seeing a roller coaster track end, I guess, but that's just me. Well, here we are on the bridge of Christmas Tree Lake. Last time I was here, they're actually putting these in. So with that said, you can see the surf coaster literally right behind it and right there. So let's zoom on in and check that out, guys. So that's where they left off. I showed you the other side of it. Here's the back side of it where it's turning around and that launch over there. Nothing too crazy, other than the Christmas trees in the lake now, but hey, that's okay, right? Seriously, that looks pretty cool. Can't wait for it to be done. Well guys, thank you for uh, watching this update video of the surf coaster here at SeaWorld Orlando. That's going to take it end of today's video, but I'm going to go make something else at another park, so I'm sure you guys will see that later. So please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe here on YouTube as you never know what random park I'm going to go to next. Maybe I'll come back here to SeaWorld. Maybe I'll go to Fun Spot Kissimmee. Maybe I'll go to Hershey Park. I don't know. Wherever. Wherever uh, I get taken to. Thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Love you all. This is kind of cool. You can pretty much get right under it. Right over here. So It's looking really good. Definitely looking surfable. Surf's up. <laughs> Come join us for the adventures of Bright Coaster Club.